the Fox 17 Morning Mix. Your air conditioner can only do so much for you, but your internal thermostat that is constantly turning up the heat. Good old hot flashes, what I'm talking about. Joining us is Dr. Diana Vittner, co-founder and physician at True Women's Health this morning. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. I'm not to this point yet, but you always prepare me with all these awesome facts about hot flashes. So what causes a hot flash? A uh, hot flash, you know, women don't have to suffer. Hot flashes are caused by number one, when our thermostat changes. So in our brain, we actually have a thermostat that allows us to control our temperature. So it allows us to um, cool off with a sweat if we're overheated and allows us to shiver if we're too cold. So that thermostat can change with sleep deprivation, that thermostat can change with chronic stress, but it can really change with low estrogen. So women right before a period or in menopause really can feel the effects. Let's talk about, first of all, what makes them better? So hot flashes are made better if you can, number one, avoid those triggers. I mean, we can't avoid um, the heat of summer, but we could sit under a tree instead of bake in the sun. Um, that's where the air conditioning can come into play. Um, it can be going to bed with just a real light pajama or a heat wicking pajama, maybe not you know, a, um, like a cotton t-shirt. Um, it can, you know, we can really make it better. For example, in menopause, if hormones are safe, then hormones can help that thermostat adjust so you don't react to that summer heat. All right, so what's gonna make this worse, especially in the summer months? So yeah, it's so exactly. What makes it worse are all those things like being overheated, but then other habits like smoking. Women who smoke often have worse hot flashes during that cigarette, but don't often equate that. If we drink a hot liquid, especially if we're dehydrated, like a cup of coffee in the morning, that can trigger a hot flash. I had a patient who every morning she would wake up and she would get a hot flash. And then she would get in the shower and come out of the shower and she'd be drying her hair and she'd get another hot flash. I think part of it for her was that she wasn't drinking enough water. And so it was the dehydration, then the hot shower, and it was the adrenaline rush of, oh, I, you know, I've got to get up and get going. So, you know, number one is that thermostat changes, but then it's these habits that can make it better or worse. And we we're talking about sugar. And sometimes in the summer months, sugar is hidden in a lot of things that we're even drinking, right? It's so easy to sit out there outside and enjoy wine and all of that. So talk about some of the things that you're putting in your body, like when it comes to food and, and, and beverages. Well, even the, the, the sugar, let's say even ice cream cone could potentially trigger a hot flash, especially if you haven't eaten a lot of good complex carbs during the day. The, you know, the alcoholic drinks, you know, like a beverage with vodka in it or wine, what that can do is the alcohol can trigger it, but also the sugar in the drink can trigger it. So maybe a lower sugar choice would be better, let's say a bubbly with vodka instead of a Sprite with vodka. So it's really thinking about the sugar as well as the alcohol. So again, it's really thinking about what are those things that I'm doing that trigger it and start to put that together. You know, women will come in and say, I never thought about it that way. I never thought that I might be triggering it. So it's just being aware that women can actually make a difference in, in how they feel. And you talked about right from the beginning, women don't have to suffer. So what can I do to try to treat these? So, you know, at, for example, at True Women's Health for our patients, we have an app that will allow you to track your symptoms and your habits. So you can look every day and see if it makes a difference. So you can say, oh, I never put two and two together. The other thing is to, you know, at True, we talk a lot about healthy lifestyle. And for example, weight can be part of something that can impact our health in terms of our risk of heart disease. But carrying extra weight can also cause hot flashes. I want you to think about it like insulation. Like if you carry extra weight, it's like wearing a sweater we can't take off. And so it's keeping a healthy weight. And at True, we track the seeds, you know, those healthy lifestyle habits that look at all of our habits, our seven essential elements of daily success. But also we really want people to be their true self and look at everything together when we're doing that hot flashes will reduce as a benefit. And then there's medication, right? When it comes down to it, some, some women cringe to think, oh, I don't want to take medicine, but if that's what's going to help you live a nice, healthy, comfortable life, it's out there. Exactly. And when our ovary stops making estrogen, we go into menopause. Again, that estrogen affects our thermostat. So for women who decide 
to take FDA approved estrogen, it can really make a difference within 10 days of starting the medication. So we have patients that come in, they're miserable, they really try to do everything in terms of their lifestyle, drink more water, avoid sugar, get some weight off. But once they start those hormone uh, medications, within 10 days, hot flashes are much better, night sweats, gone, and really starting to feel like themselves. And then those other, ha it's easier to, to do those habits when we're feeling better. Well, I love that you have the app out there. It's all, a lot of answers right there uh, in their hands, but they want to go ahead and set up an appointment with you at True Women's Health. You are located at 2144 East Paris. That's right in Grand Rapids. Give them a call at 616-330-1700. Find her online, truewomenshealth.com, YouTube and Facebook out there as well. True Women's Health, Dr. Bittner, thank you as always. Have a wonderful day.